of the woodland. Ranger Bill, warrior of the woodland, struggling against extreme odds, traveling dangerous trails, showing rare courage in the face of disaster. In the air. On horseback. Or in a screaming squad car. Ranger Bill, his mind alert, a ready smile, unswerving, loyal to his mission. And all this in exchange for the satisfaction and pride of a job well done. Gotta get up. Oh. oh, I can't. In and back. My leg oh. must be broken. Too near the edge. Oh. oh, this is a fine fix. The bottom of this small canyon. No one ever knew I went hunting this morning. <laughs> Where'd my rifle go? Oh, oh. I, I don't see it. I wonder if I could crawl over to that small waterfall. At least I'd have something to drink. It's getting so warm. Maybe a little at a time. Oh, that's enough for now. So much pain. Help! Listen to me. No one can hear me down here. There isn't anyone to hear me. Probably isn't anyone within miles. Oh, suddenly so dizzy. Oh, oh. <laughs> hey. Well, how do you like that? We planned this whole thing for weeks, and I practiced day and night on the happy birthday song, and when the time finally comes to spring it at him, all he can say is, boy! Maybe maybe this one rare time that Henry had lost for words. It sure is. You guys, boy! You haven't seen the half of it, pal. We got a few presents here for you. Oh, you shouldn't have. That's exactly what everybody says, and people do it anyhow. <laughs> That's right. Uh, Grey Wolf, get those gifts out of hiding, will you? Oh, you sure fooled me. I uh, didn't here know... Here your presents, Henry. You open, huh? Oh. Oh. How about another chorus out there? Happy birthday! Uh, I think we sing it enough, Stumpy. Uh, Grey Wolf's right, old-timer. Uh, let's just let Henry get to the presents, huh? <laughs> Feller works out a tune, works hard to putting it together, and they only use it once. So oh, it's party. okay, Stumpy. <laughs> if you want to play it, I'd like oh, to hear... Oh, stop it, Henry! <laughs> I was just pulling your leg. Oh. Hey, let's see what you got for your birthday. As if you didn't know already. Hey, this one's kind of heavy. <laughs> Wouldn't you know we take the heaviest first? Well, let's get it open, Henry. Oh. <laughs> oh. You like it, pal? Like it? I'll say. I've been saving for a camera, but I've never been able to buy one like this. Boy! Listen to that! We're back to boy again! Well, this must have cost a lot of money. Both Stumpy and I gave it to you, pal. 
We figured since your grades have been up and you were interested in photography, we might as well encourage you to do the best. Why, that's just like you guys. How can I ever say thanks? Just use it well, Henry. This camera's too good to fool around with. I'll have to take good care of it. Uh, what's this? Well, you open and see. Well, it says it's from you, Grey Wolf. Oh, that's so. <laughs> it's so small and, and light. And... Well, I, I rather stingy. I... <laughs> Get to it. Hey, it's a... It looks like some kind of ticket or something. Well, uh, you read. This entitles bearer to one... Hey, boy! I wonder who let that boy in here. Do you know what this is for? <laughs> What's that, pal? Well, you know that terrific helicopter scenic cruise over the mountains? Mm? The one that takes all afternoon and, and flies over all the most tremendous places? Yeah, what about it? Well, that's what this ticket is for. I can take that ride. Oh, boy, how many times I've wanted to ever since it started... Uh, Say, you would knew it all the time, didn't you? Well, we weren't too secretive about what we were giving you. Ah, oh, we glad you like our gifts. <laughs> we so. sure are, pal. Happy birthday. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Oh, no, 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 Stumpy. I thank Henry here enough of our nice voices. <laughs> you fellas are the best friends a guy could ever have. A uh, manatee agency who arranges flights want to know how soon you take scenic flight. He say that soon many people will want to fly over beautiful sights, and it's harder to get time you want. That's right. They only take a few people at a time in those little copters. I sure am anxious to go. Why not go this afternoon, pal? It's your birthday. Well, weren't you expecting me to help out here at the ranger station? On your birthday, not on your life. If you want to take flight today at a good time. It is? Yeah, men tell me there are plenty of room this afternoon. I somehow think you might want to take it today. Well, uh, if it's all right... It's okay here, pal. Go ahead. <laughs> Great. Uh, hey! <laughs> What's that, Henry? I can take my new camera along and get some swell shots from the helicopter. That's a good idea. And, uh, by the way, it's all loaded and ready to go. Oh, boy! There's that boy again! <laughs> <laughs> well, you'd better get ready, Henry. Looks like you're going to have an eventful day. I call man and tell him you take flight today. Oh, I can hardly wait to start taking shots of that beautiful mountain country. <laughs> This was beautiful country. <laughs> Some beauty. If I stare at that waterfall much longer without a drink of it, I'll dry up. <sighs> Wonder how bad I'm hurt. Must have fallen a long way. Oh, gotta rest. Can't afford to get dizzy and pass out again. Wonder how long I've been down here. So hungry, thirsty. If only someone would come along. <laughs> They'd never hear me, even if I called. Hey! I don't have much of a voice left. How could I do a thing like this? Go off without telling anybody? <laughs> the great hunter. Now look at me. Probably most of my bones broken, lying at the bottom of a ravine without any... Hey! Hey, what, what's that? Am I hearing things? No, I'm not. I mean, yes, I am. That, that's a plane. There it is! Hey, help me! They'll never hear me. Hey! They didn't even see me. Hey! So then we made a sharp bank and started back through the area near Moose Glove. Oh, that far away. You really got money's worth. <laughs> Your money's worth, Grey Wolf. And we sure did. Did you get some good pictures, Henry? Well, I hope so. There sure were some pretty sights. I used up two whole rolls of film. <laughs> Have any trouble holding still while you were taking them? The helicopter sure was bouncy. But the instructions on the camera said that with that fast film I was using, it wouldn't hurt a lot to move. I'll be anxious to see those pictures. Oh, me too. Say... Did you know about a little waterfall that's way back in that part of the forest? A waterfall? <laughs> Can't say it. I've ever heard of it, or seen it for that matter. Seems to me I have heard that there's one back in there. That's pretty dense country, though. 
But the only reason we'd ever go back that far is for a forest fire or something. Uh, did you see the falls? Sure did. The pilot hovered over them for a little while and let me take some really swell shots, if they turn out. <laughs> Those egg beaters never stop amazing me. Think of being able to hang in midair just about anywhere you want to. Did you drop down uh, near the falls? Oh, no, it's way too small. The pilot said that there wasn't any way to get into that little crevice, except to fall into it, I guess. It's so small that even a helicopter couldn't land in there. Sounds like a nice little place, Henry. Oh, it really, really was. It was kind of clean and untouched, you know, like nobody had ever been there, and, and I was the first person seeing it. Mm. I really couldn't tell the pilot how it made me feel, but, boy, it was just great. Well, I'd be anxious to see pictures taken of small falls. Me too, Sonny. I never heard you talk that way about a place before. It must be something all right. <laughs> I've got an idea. Why don't you develop those pictures tonight, Henry? How could I do that, Bill? Well, we have that developing equipment over at the ranger station. We get over there this evening and uh, run your films through. Sure, I forgot about that stuff. Do you know how to develop films? Oh, sure. Back in the old days, when we weren't so busy around here, I used to dabble in photography as a hobby. And that's why that equipment is there. That'd be swell, Bill. I'm as anxious to see the pictures as anyone. Good. Uh, Stumpy and Gray Wolf will do the dishes and, uh, 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 hold it right there, Bill. Hey, thanks for stopping him, Gray Wolf. I had a mouthful of coffee. Uh, who's going to do the dishes? Well, I just thought Maybe that, you uh, boss during working hours and in emergencies, Bill. But when it comes to housework, you just Bill Jefferson. <laughs> Come on, fellas. Don't you want to see the pictures? That's right. Don't you want to see the pictures? I think I'd enjoy them a lot more if I knew that the dishes were done. I agree with old-timer. Well, then, do them. Easy as all that. Boy, I spent all afternoon flying over beautiful natural wonders and take two old rolls of film that would inspire you all. And what do I come back to? Well, I give up. <laughs> <laughs> hey, something just come to mind. What's that, Grey Wolf? Henry, only one of us who hasn't worked hard all day. Why not he do oh, this? It's my birthday, fellas. Besides, I, uh, well, I have to unload my camera and things. <laughs> I'll get right to gathering the film and stuff and meet you at the uh, station right away, Bill. I'll see you there in a few minutes. Well, uh, fellas, uh, if you'll excuse me, I'm wanted over at the station for important business. Uh, be sure to use lots of good hot water. Uh, Gray Wolf. Yeah? Uh, How did we get stuck? I'm not sure, but we stuck. <laughs> Whoever thought I'd get stuck in a place where a drink of water would be so good. Oh, that's good. I must have crawled all day to get here. Looks like the sun is starting to go down. <laughs> Some speed, about 20 feet a day. Not a sign of another person since that helicopter went over early today. I wonder if anyone ever comes near this place. I'm so hungry. My back is throbbing. So why did this have to happen to me? What did I ever do to deserve a thing like this? God! Gone, I guess there's just you and me around here. Why did this happen to me? <laughs> no answer. Well, I guess I really didn't expect one. I'm as good as anybody. If I deserve this, everybody does. Oh, what's the use? I must be cracking up. Here I am trying to... Talk to God. Just like you hear about people doing before they die. <laughs> well, I don't need to talk to you, God. I never talked to you before. Why start now?
Think all of them came out? I don't know yet, pal. Uh, about fixed now, though. Now let's hold them up this red light and see. <laughs> Look pretty good. Kind of hard to tell with just the negatives. Can we make some prints? Now, these negatives will have to dry a bit first. We'll uh, wash them, pin them up, and it won't take long to dry. Good. There. That's a quick wash. Now we'll hang them up, and then we'll just wait in the other room. Good idea. Sure does get hot in here with that dryer on. Phew. Well, you sure notice a difference out here in the office. Might even be nicer outside while we wait, huh? How much time will it take? Better give them about 15 minutes to dry. Well, then can we make up some prints? I really want you to see some of them, especially that little falls. Oh, sure. We'll do it as soon as they've had a chance to dry. Right now, let's step out and enjoy some of this night air. Let's face it, Fred. You're gonna die. You might just as well get used to the idea. The only way anyone could get down here is the way I did. Fall in. No one ever comes this far into the forest anyhow. I'm going to die. I never thought about it before. Really, I'm going to die. Why me? God, what, what did I ever do to deserve this? Oh, what am I talking about? Everybody dies. What am I, something special? Besides, what did I ever do not to deserve this? <laughs> That's a good question, isn't it? I've done some nice things in my life, but so has everybody. That's nothing special. I've done some bad things, too. <laughs> so what? If what good and what bad you do decides how you stand with God, it'd be too easy to fool around with. Always do enough good to make up for the bad. Oh, that's nuts. God wouldn't go for that. I'm going to die. And I'm no better than anyone else in the world. Well, it didn't take as long as I figured it would, Grey Wolf. Ah, oh, you fast washer, old timer. Uh, you should have had a lot of practice by this time, don't you think? Well, you should have, but I'm not sure you have had. Yeah, just what do you mean by that remark, young feller? Well, something you do when we do dishes make me think you fast because you're in a hurry. Not because you know what you're doing. Now, give me a for instance. Uh, for instance, you put all greasy pans in water to be washed first. Well, they were the dirtiest. <laughs> Dish water even dirtier when we get to plates and glasses. Hey, anybody home? Sure we are. Come on out here and get in on the lesson. Oh, what lesson? Uh, Chief Grey Wolf here was just about to give lessons on the right way to wash dishes. I think Old Timer could use them. <laughs> are you two still trying to get those dishes done? They're done. It's just that Grey Wolf wants to get them out and start again. I'd much rather take a look at pictures Henry Bursting to show us. Why, do they turn out swell, too? Here they are. <laughs> Say, they really do look good. That camera pretty easy to work. Uh, nothing to it. Here, look at this one. <laughs> know who those men are? <laughs> How do you like that? This young whippersnapper took one of us from up in the air. <laughs> look like your hair thinning on top, Stumpy. <laughs> it sure does, old timer. <laughs> It's just the way the light was shining, that's all. <laughs> and look at it. Here's a shot of Naughty Pine from the air. Look how it's growing. Yeah, becoming more like Big City every year. Well, that's what the pilot said, too. Hey, Sonny, uh, where's that little ravine and waterfall you were talking about before? I'd like to see that right off. I'd like to see that, too. Uh, here they are. I got a couple of good shots of it. Uh, can you see okay, Bill? Uh, we looked at them over at the station. Looks like a beautiful spot, all right. I say. Well, it sure looks beautiful, all right. And you say no one ever goes up there? Well, that's what the pilot said. He said that the country was so rugged that it was almost impossible to get there. Might be a nice place to try to get to on a vacation sometime. I was uh, thinking the same thing, Stumpy. You are sure no one ever go there, Henry? Well, as far as I know, why? Well, the funniest thing in this picture. Look a little like man. Oh, let's see. You look too, Bill. See? 
right there near Big Tree. Mm, now that you mention it, Grey Wolf, it does look a little like a man. Kind of hard to tell, yeah. though. I wish we had color film. Might be just a shadow or a rock or something. Yeah, that's probably it. I have hard-worked imagination. I don't know, Grey Wolf. Now that you've mentioned it, it looks more and more like a man lying at the bottom of that crevice. Oh, God. God, if everybody does good and bad, how is anyone supposed to get right with you? I'm going to die here. And I'm starting to get scared about it. It isn't fair. Why didn't somebody make me think about this a long while ago? Now it's too late. Here I am, ready to die, and I... I know I'm what the preachers would call a sinner. And I know it's too late to do anything about it. God... God, hear me. I can't die now. I've never paid any attention to you at all. And I'm... I'm afraid that you won't pay any attention to me now. Oh, Father... Why didn't heaven... How does that go? Father... Oh, God, please help me. Please save my life. If you do, if you will, with your help, I, I'll live all the rest of the, the life the way you want. I promise. I promise. I promise. <laughs> Take a look through this magnifying glass, Grey Wolf. I am more sure than ever that that is a man down there in this picture. Mm. I think that, too. It's a good thing that that's such a clear shot. Let's see those other pictures of the falls area, Henry. Yeah, here they are. I want to see every inch of it. Hey, look here. Just at the very edge of that picture. Yeah, that part of man, all right. Part? Uh, just part of him in the picture, Stumpy. Fellas, we've got to get up to that little crevice. If that really is someone down there, he's in trouble. Sorry to have had to get you out on uh, this time of night, pilot. That's all right, Ranger. I wasn't asleep long anyhow. You really think there's a man down in that little falls, huh? Well, we have good reason to suspect so. Yeah, funny we didn't see him today, huh, kid? Yeah, we didn't, but my camera did. Oh, is that so? Yeah, I will be there pretty soon. These landing lights are plenty bright enough to search that place out. You're only one trouble. Yeah, uh, what's that? Well, even if you do see someone down there, you're still in kind of a mess. Ah, trouble? Oh, yeah, I forgot. Sure, like I was telling the boy here this afternoon. But well, there's no way to land this copter down there. As far as I can remember, there is anywhere nearby to land, either. How about this hoist? Does it work? Sure. We use it to pick up and deliver things during the off-season. I can hold my weight? You can hold four times your weight. Oh, oh, I see. Sure. You spot someone down there and you want to go down, I guess we could lower you that way. Good enough. Maybe it'd be good if I go along down. You might need help. That's a good idea, Grey Wolf. We'll uh, see what we can see first. Uh, you got the first aid kit, Stumpy? I sure do, Sonny. But if it's all the same to you, I think I'll stay up here in this eight meter. I never was too interested in doing circus acrobatics. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's the place up ahead there. Ah, that place on picture, all right. Now, if you'll hover right over the falls area and shine those powerful landing lights around, we'll see what we can see. Right. Ah, try over that way. That where man was in picture. I don't see anything. Now nah, there's anything there at all. Then we know he's here. What? That's right, Sonny. If the picture showed a man and there ain't anything at all there now, that means he moved. Bill, look there. My falls. How about that? It's a man, all right. Looks like he's out cold. Either that or it did. Let's get down there and take a look. He alive, all right, but in bad shape. Poor fella must have fallen almost all the way down from the top up there. It's like both legs are broken. Hard to tell, though, what's wrong. 
Oh. Take it easy, fella. Uh, Grey Wolf. Oh, yes, Bill. Let's gather a few branches and make a makeshift stretcher. Then we'll hook it up to the hoist and take this fella out. Right, Bill. We better hurry. Helicopter oh. not have enough gas to last all oh. night. What are they doing down there? Yeah, it beats me. It looks like they're gathering branches or something. Do you think they're making a fire? I don't know what for. Well, whatever it is they're doing, they better hurry up. I can't hover all night on one tank of gas. Look, wait, they put those branches together. Sure they are. I see what they're doing. Yeah, what's that? It's an old jungle stunt. They're making a stretcher to put that fella on. Well, looks like a good idea. It is. Boy, they sure put it together in a hurry. A bill's is signaling up here. Uh, looks like he wants more line. He probably wants to hook that stretcher up. Well, I hope they got to that fellow in time. It looked like they understand you, Bill. Here come more lines. Good. I think oh. this stretcher will hold nicely. Let's move this man onto it and get him up there. You take head. I'll get his feet. Oh. All right. Oh. I think we better cradle him more, though, Grey Wolf. Ah. No telling oh. how many bones are broken. Right. Uh, oh. Easy now. Oh. That's it. Oh. Got it. Oh. 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 God, Easy, fella. God has heard you. I promise. I promise. Got your all set, Bill. Okay to take up. Good. I'll signal them up there. Uh, there he go. He in bad shape. Physically, maybe. But I'm not too sure spiritually. What do you mean, Bill? I got the idea just now that he's made a promise to God. Might be well for us to keep in touch with him while he recovers. Maybe we can be of help when he's strong enough to think about that promise. So you see, Fred, how much good or how much bad we do really isn't the deciding factor. As far as that goes, we're all pretty much in the same boat. Only takes one sin to make a sinner. That's what I figured out down there in the valley, Bill. But what about you? You don't do bad things, do you? Well, if I don't, it's only by the grace of God. You see, his Holy Spirit has come into my life to change me, Fred, to remake me into what God would have us all to be. All I must do now is to be open to his work. That's hard to understand, Bill. But I can see that in your case, what you say must be true. How can I have this for myself? I made a promise, you know. Yes, I know, Fred. Well, God begins to remake a man the moment that he accepts God's verdict on his sins. Well, there's no other verdict for me but guilty. Oh, yes, there is another verdict. What's that? Forgiven on the basis of God's own working. How many times have you seen those signs, Christ died for our sins? Lots of times. I never thought much about it except that something religious. You see, Fred, to be forgiven, sin must be punished. And God sent his only son into the world to live the exact kind of life we ought to live and to die and suffer the exact punishment that we should suffer. But it doesn't sound fair. To, to Christ, I mean. Only a concern, a love, far beyond anything we can hope to understand would go through with an act like that, Fred. And he did. And all we must do is to see our need and believe that as the signs say, Christ died for our sins... That's when the transformation takes place. Bill. Bill, I want to accept God's way. I want to tell God how much I need him. Go ahead, Fred. I can guarantee that he's listening right now. You know, boys and girls, the Bible says that all things work together in a pattern for good to those that love God. Fred learned that the minute he began to love God... And maybe you know it too, huh? We'll see you next week for more adventure with... Ranger Bill! Ranger Bill was produced in the radio studios of the Moody Bible Institute in Chicago. Chicago.